Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about molecular basis of metastasis. So in the previous video we discussed about molecular basis of cancer. So uh, going to metastasis, so what is metastasis? These are the tumor implants which are discontinuous from the primary tumor. Metastasis unequivocally marks the tumor as malignant as benign neoplasms they do not metastasize. It makes the prognosis of the patient bad so it is equally important to understand how does the tumor metastasize. So there are two steps, the two main phases in which the metastasis take place. First is the invasion of extracellular matrix, then is the vascular dissemination, homing of the tumor cell and their colonization. So understanding about the basically what is there in the molecular basis of metastasis. Firstly, there is a primary tumor. Okay, primary tumor is there. Then this is the basement membrane. Then there is extracellular matrix. Then there is a vessel over here. So in this uh, diagram, we are understanding about the hematogenous spread. Similarly, there is a lymphatic spread also. So in the uh, so uh, there is a primary tumor. So the primary tumor will clonally expand itself, it will form angiogenesis and it is growing over the primary side. Then there are certain tumor subsets which are formed that can metastasize. That is known as metastatic subclone. So these cells, they adhere and invade the basement membrane. When the basement, they invade into the basement membrane, then they will pass through the extracellular matrix. They will pass through the extracellular matrix and intravisate into the blood vessel. Okay, they are intravisating, that is entering into the blood vessel. Here they will interact with host lymphoid cells, platelets and they will form a tumor cell embolus. This tumor cell embolus will further adhere to the basement membrane of the area where the tumor cell wants to extravasate. It, uh, it will be determined by organ tropism, by various other factors. So extravasation will take place and metastatic deposit will be formed. The tumor cell has metastasized, further it will go angiogenesis and grow over the metastatic area. So this is the basic basic part of the metastasis. Now going to little bit in detail, so what happens is first step is loosening up of tumor to tumor cell interactions. That is two cells, they are bound to each other by something known as adhesion molecules or intercellular junctions. So these are normal cells, they are glued to each other by adhesion molecules. The example of adhesion molecule is E. cadherin. <clears throat> e. cadherin is seen in carcinoma breast, carcinoma o, uh, colon and loss of E. cadherin is, has a bad prognosis. So there is first is loosening off of intercellular junctions, then is degradation of ECM. Now the, the uh, second step will be degradation of the basement membrane and migration. Now the tumor cell to digest the extracellular matrix they secrete certain proteolytic enzymes. These proteolytic enzymes are matrix metalloproteinases, the MMPs. The MMPs they degrade the extracellular matrix. Other enzymes cathepsin D, urocanase, uh, plasminogen activator they are also there but the most important are MMPs. They are secreted and the extracellular matrix is cleaved, uh, is proteolyzed so that the tumor cell can migrate through it. Uh, but the tumor cell they do not only migrate with the help of MMPs. Uh, they also migrate by amoeboid migration. Amoeboid migration is like normal amoeba moves. In this what happens is the cell squeezes through the spaces in the matrix instead of cutting their way through it. The tumor cells they can switch between the amoeboid migration and the MMP migration. So if we use in the clinical trials we were using the drugs anti-MMP they were of very less use because the tumor cell they switched themselves to the amoeboid migration. So uh, the two methods of migration are these. Uh, the amoeboid migration what happens is the, the cells they squeeze themselves they attach to the matrix at the leading end and detach from the matrix at the trailing end and use their actin cytoskeleton to move forward and 
this is how they migrate into the like amoeba they can migrate through the ecm now going from the now they have entered into the ecm they have entered into the vessel so within the circulation what happens within the circulation the tumor cells they tend to form clumps now the clumps can be formed between the tumor cell to tumor cell okay that is the homeotypic type of adhesion which is taking place between the tumor cells or it can be heterotypic that is tumor cell and platelets if the heterotypic type of adhesion is formed it is more beneficial to tumor okay the formation of platelet tumor aggregates enhance the tumor cell survival and implantability tumor cells also activate certain coagulation factors so that they can form a good emboli now they have they are in the vessel now they will adhere to endothelium and get out of the vessel wherever they want to proliferate they will develop their vascular supply over there evade the host defenses and uh, form a metastatic area now how is that the certain tumor cells they metastasize very quickly some metastasize late some metastasize uh, after uh, some time some uh, after developing certain mutations so there are multiple methods uh, under uh, to explain this the multiple models to explain this so one is when first the tumor is formed it is non metastatic primary tumor then it develops certain cells which are metastatic variants and they help the cell to tumor to metastasize then is metastatic signature that is certain tumors they already uh, from beginning they have metastatic uh, signature uh, genes which are mutated so the metastasis will take place very early in that tumors then is metastatic signature with other variants they will also metastasize very easily and lastly not only meta tumor cells are important the stromal response to it is also important for the development of metastasis so these are the various ways by metastasis in certain tumors vary from each other then is formation of deposits now the tumors uh, leave the capillaries to form secondary deposits now the secondary deposits is mostly at the first capillary bed which is available to the tumor so important is the tumor cells they will metastasize to the first capillary bed which is available to the tumor example of it is like prostatic carcinoma it preferentially goes to the vertebral bones but this is not always the case okay so certain uh, tumor cells they have specific adhesion molecules whose ligands are present on the target organ so this is known as organ tropism the also there is a chemokines which are secreted by certain uh, breast cancer cells and they help in binding to the area which is uh, where they can commonly metastasize so this is how we can see that some tumors they preferentially go to a specific organ the uh, and vice versa is also there certain target tissue they are non permissible they create a non permissible environment or an unfavorable soil for tumor seedlings so example is uh, your skeletal muscles though they are very well vascularized but they are rarely the site of metastasis so in metastasis many things are yet to be understood also why certain organ tropism is there but certain things are because of chemokines certain adhesion molecules so this was all about the molecular basis of carcinoma do like share and subscribe to this channel if you like this type of video do ask any queries in the comment box thanks for watching this video thank you